All right, so at this point we're at our target. As we can see, there's M42. That's only a one second exposure, so you can't really see a whole lot there. Uh, what we wanna do now is just do autofocus to make sure we're focused on everything. And what it does is it just goes through a process of autofocusing it. You just hit the start button and then essentially it'll go through and it'll focus. So I'll just uh, kind of run it through kind of fast so we don't have to spend a whole lot of time on it. Okay, so that's it. Did the autofocus. So at this point, we just hit the close button. And so I'm just gonna continue on because I'm gonna cut this out and make it a little shorter of a video and stuff like that. So the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna guide. So I'll, uh, I'll just unclick on the focuser. I'm sorry, let's do this with the mouse. So there we go. So let's click off on the focuser and then we'll click on the guide. And then on the guide, you just click on the guide itself. And on here, you just hit the refresh button. It should refresh and hopefully find some stars here. I messed with it earlier when I was showing you guys how to take it in and take it out. So we may not have any stars here. Uh, I may need to go out and readjust it real quick because I was messing around with it earlier. So we're not seeing any stars at all. So let's go take this bad side again. What I'm doing is extending out the ZWO so get a little more length on it. Okay, I think that's good. So, all right, a little bit of a headache, but we got it. So now at this point, you can just hit the graft and then we'll auto shoot to a star and it'll find the best star based on what it thinks it sees in that area to guide to. And then we're good. A little bit of tech support issues, but it's just because I cleaned my telescope the other day and got stuff situated. So we're guiding at this point. Um, so we can just hit the back button. And then at this point, we're gonna click on the preview and then we're gonna go to auto run. And then we click on this little button here and then we choose what we're going to do. So we're not doing flats tonight. So you choose what you're shooting, what your lights, how long our exposure is going to be. So I'm going to do 300 seconds and I'm going to repeat it like 10 times just for the argument of keeping this kind of a short video. So. So then we hit our back button and we're guiding. We're doing pretty good here. We're keeping it under two seconds for the total RMS error. So at this point, you just hit the start button and it rips away. So I'll let it rip away and then I'll, I'll go ahead and speed up the video here. So. All right, we're coming up on our first image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish here. And it'll take a minute to load because I'm only using 2.4 gigahertz. So it's not super fast to send the send the image across from the uh, from the Wi-Fi. This is DSLR, so these files are about 49 megs, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but you know, it's it's cold outside, so it's got to transfer the file across the network, so it takes a minute for it to show up, and we should be able to see it here. And honestly, it takes longer for it to load on the screen, so. Matter of fact, I'll show you real quick, so. This loading is gonna show it on the load preview, but if you click on this button down here, which is like the images, and you go to auto run, it's already got the file in there. So we can click on that light and we can see the first light that we did. So it takes just a second to load, which is a little quicker than loading across the 
live preview screen because what it does is it does a live preview and then a stretch. So it's still not blazing fast, but again, I'm on the opposite side of the house of my router. So uh, it's, I think there's problems with that router. So there's my first image. So I'm going to go ahead and pinch the zoom here just so you can kind of see it. But as you can see, everything really looks in focus uh, and everything looks, looks to be really good focus wise. Um, so let's go. That would be at its full resolution. So um, it's nice and focused. Um, skies are really clear. So no crazy looking stars, no trails, no nothing. So that gives you an idea of kind of what you can do with the ASIR and set up with a, with a, you know, this is with the DSLR, but I'm going to be moving to a, uh, you know, an astral camera, the ASI 533. Um, so, but this gives you an idea of what it can do. And, and even though we have a little bit of satellite over here, uh, that'll get pulled out of the image when I'm using PixInsight. So uh, we'll just go back and see it's still loading. It just takes forever. Cause again, I'm on the other side of the house and I've got multiple walls. So it takes a while for that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here again. And then I'm gonna, I'll pull it up again uh, if it, uh, once I get to the fourth frame and it starts doing the um, the guiding and stuff like that, or not the guiding, excuse me, the the, the different dithering, I'd, I'd like to show that process and stuff like that. So uh, we'll go ahead and stop the video for right now. Okay, so we've been rocking, man. I missed the four minute mark for the, uh, or I'm sorry, the fourth image that was going to be taken with the uh, with the dithering. So I try to catch up, and now we're coming up on our eighth image, so it should kick over and dither. I believe, because uh, this would be the um, coming up on the eighth image. So it always dithers before that that next image of the of the fourth image. So let's see here what happens. Let's see if I'm crazy. And there's the dither. So at this point, what's happening is the mount's moving. Um, and it's it's uh, basically setting up the dither. Um, so at this point, it'll take a new image. Um, and essentially, what the dithering helps with is cleaning out the noise from the image because it's basically moving your telescope into a different direction than it's been shooting. So basically, those hot pixels that are showing up on your on your sensor will be distributed in a different area. So. Now it's back to guiding. So that just shows you how quick it goes. And now it's taking the night shot. So um, as you can see, it, it goes pretty quick. And it, right now, yeah, it's showing a little high on the total. It's at 3.2, but it'll 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 settle down to about one. And I guess I could set that for longer if I wanted to, but I haven't noticed any issues. I mean, you can look at this um, last image that we took. And I mean, we're not seeing any any stars that are out of focus we're not seeing any stars that are being um that are like getting pulled from bad polar alignment or getting pulled from uh bad tra uh, bad tracking or guiding excuse me so basically at this point it's it's looking good i mean let's look at these three stars over here man how clean those are and this is me zooming in really far so um Kind of the breakdown i mean it's shooting really well and uh, we're not having any problems so i'm going to go ahead and let this continue on and then um, i'll go through basically um, creating uh, the darks flats and all that so we'll we'll generate everything so we do a whole full stack even though it's not a whole lot of data i mean we're only doing uh 10 shots at uh, 300 seconds it's not uh you know at five minutes so you're looking at 50 minutes of data on m42 which isn't a whole lot of data but uh still good anyway so uh i'll go ahead and stop the video and just let it keep going 